Hello, this is Michael Hexter, and welcome to Politics 2100 here on YouTube. So this episode I'm calling Israeli Military Policy and Hamas Terrorism Work to Accelerate Cycle of Hate and Vengeance. So we have a lot of different takes and positions and uh that people are making, people who are involved, people who are not directly involved and who, uh, who identify with the conflict uh, in different forms. I'm Jewish, I, but am opposed to um, Israel's policy versus the Palestinians and the policy of occupation um, and uh, uh, that the, also just in general, the lack of understanding of the, the robbery of the land from Palestinians and therefore um, what kind of uh, recompense needs to be made. So there's a basic reality there. Um, Israelis are settler colonialism or the state is a secular colonialism, even though there are now generations of Israelis who've grown up in the state and and so therefore are not the original um, uh authors of the particular policy that's being continually to enact and not only just enact but but sequ sequentially uh stealing uh land um and buildings and so forth and so on from the palestinians so um anyway so we have this policy by the israeli government so in the current conflict so hamas um attacked Israel and 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 also committed war crimes or or crimes against um, Israeli ci civilians uh, um, and and which are outrageous and they should be held to account for those. Um, but at the same time, Israel is there is a context of Israeli um, uh, immiseration of the Palestinians of robbing them of of uh, uh, keeping them basically under military rule in both Gaza and the West Bank uh, and and strangling um, any shoots of uh, let's say political resistance or non terror or non military resistance um, uh, by the Palestinians um, uh, to the um, policies and the, and the 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 shrinking of Palestine or of the the and and the 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 uh, ethnic cleansing basically of uh, Palestinians from the the Levant, okay, from the the area which is Israel and parts of Jordan and parts of the West Bank and so forth and so on. So anyway, um, but we have. Uh, Israel Israeli policy is now bombarding. They're now bombarding Gaza, and there are, are basically uh, fish eliminationist rhetoric coming. Uh, you know, I mean, it it goes in waves, and and this rhetoric is not surprising to people who followed um, the far right in Israel that has been dominant for many years now. For a decade or so in the Knesset. Um, and so this um, eliminationist rhetoric vis-a-vis -vis, um, uh, and, and, and deep racism uh, uh, or tribal tribalism, ethnic, whatever it is, eliminationist tribalism, what have you, um, against the religious sectarian um, uh, eliminationism um, and 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 uh, uh, prejudice and I mean prejudice is, a, is a, a weak word for what's been going on. So anyway, so we have this government that is well armed. Okay, that is supported by some of the most powerful nations in the world, including the United States, um, mostly the United States, but also other countries. That is just imposing this. Uh, apartheid system and and also a a 
a marching apartheid, apartheid that is, um, uh, especially in the West Bank, you know, uh, a strangling um, Palestinian communities there. And so, um, uh, and trying to clamp, trying to get them to move, to, to go, essentially, and, 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 um, or to keep them in, in the, uh, position in a in a subord in a in a not just subordinate but I mean a subordinate but also a, a oppressed condition literally just oppressed and at, by mil at the point of guns and 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 the use of uh, uh, you know some legal stuff but mostly most of what the Israeli government does is illegal and is vis-a-vis um, -vis the the Palestinians. And uh, but no one is enforcing the law, I international law. Um, so, but anyway, so we have now though a, a situation where the Israeli government is pledging essentially genocide or close to or it's close to genocide. It's it's difficult to know the, the accept the range of acceptable responses to the terrorism and the of of. Uh, the attack of Hamas um, and the and the slaying of uh, uh, the 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 murderous slaying of of uh, Israeli innocent Israeli citizens civilians some of them children some of them you know older people also the taking of hostages um, which in a way I mean in the in the in the the scope of, you could say, the the law of war, the taking of hostages is maybe if they have some plan for what they're trying to do, and they're that is somewhat more quote unquote within the range. But then they also did um, some basically atrocities um, and filmed those atrocities and and you know and and broadcast them. So um, uh, we're dealing with uh, some of the most. Uh, depraved um forms of of terror and of of uh and and the use of force to either express emotions okay or get a goal of some kind i mean but the the goal is so is is not going to be fulfilled um and so uh uh the basically there some of it is is, is is propaganda so it's the propaganda in the way of the deed um that they're trying to so they're so let, let the the point i'm trying to make and this is a rephrasing of a video i did a few days ago um when i was talking about the italian law so this is a the way israeli military policy and hamas work together and they're there is in a way a cooperation in 2019 we have a recording of or a uh report of um a likud meeting where basically they're they were saying they were really okay with hamas they want to promote hamas um and and they're they're they like hamas better than they like a secular um authority um, and and they want to they want to uh, boost that, and in a way, Israeli policy in the last several years has been focused on, in fact, undermining the Palestinian Authority, um, and uh, which is also has its pro internal problems. It's um, uh, it's corrupt in itself, and so forth and so on. So there, we don't have shining knights in the area of secular authorities there, but they are still more dangerous to the judeo-fascists in the uh currently in the pa in power in in jerusalem and so uh in the knesset and and in um so these um this policy and and so so they they form a a dyad in a way even though we're we're tr we're asked to choose a side and we're tr asked to choose you know who is the good guy, and to stand on that side of the good, or to to we have people sending out either solidarity with Palestine. Okay, we have a lot of people who are saying, and they 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 ignore any 
Jewish people and Israelis that have that are involved in this, or they're saying that they they're that, that's unmentionable. Okay, the in this case the the that they are simply this oppressor that needs to be thrown off. Okay, and you know, and there also is in a way eliminationism by um, ignoring the issue of you have all these Jewish people who in this case were some were killed and who are just who are living there with as civilians and yes you know they they some of them elected the Likud and so they have some co-responsibility for um, the current regime and also even previous you know the labor um, regimes were not good for Palestinians and and were I mean there were some efforts being made more efforts to make peace in in those um, uh, administrations in in um, uh, in Israel but in any case um, so the 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 policy though is a is we we should we should look at them both in other words Hamas and the current Israeli government as being and their current military policy with regard to Gaza and the West Bank as being um, a, 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 a dyad, a, a mutual re, mutual, mutually reinforcing cycle of stirring hatred and revenge, feelings of vengeance in both groups and therefore militarism. So the key point in stirring hatred and revenge is hurting other people and or or asserting power over them with the threat of arm armed you know someone with a gun pointing it at you so forth and so on and you feel that you are not whatever guilty or you that's not there's nothing just about it that you're not being caught in a in doing a crime or so forth and so on or whatever it is and, and you feel like you're the, but in fact you you find that you have you either a Palestinian or an Israeli, you feel like you're justified in living where you are, or you know wanting to eat, wanting to to be healthy, you know all these different things. So, which is not, you know, nothing wrong with that um, to f feel that have that sense. But there's an effort to create a a conflict. And there are, again, so I, as I said in the beginning of this video, there are real hard issues that need to be resolved in order for Palestinians and Jews to be able to live in dignity and in, in peace in the Levant, okay? And, and in, in a way that w where the resources are divided equitably and, and where one group is not trying to strangle the other group with their either geographically and with the use of military and with the use of legal claims um, with whatever basis, with biblical basis, for instance, as many far-right um, religious fanatics in, the, uh, in Israel try to do, um, uh, or um, do it with, you know, open um, military force, and so you. But but this this effort. So so what is communicated? Okay, just getting down to basics here. What's communicated by the Hamas strategy? If you can read, and I don't know the full details of everything. I don't know, but certainly the 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 um the wanton killing uh, and and atrocious killing of and and rape and um uh, parading of bodies and so forth and so on and 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 attempts at humiliation uh, which people are celebrating okay in other parts of the world so so there's a there's a celebration of that humiliation and degradation of israeli civilians and or the as maybe as representatives of the Israeli government, you know, however you, you know, want to see it, but, um, and, and with justification around the world, the Israeli government is looked upon 
by many as being oppressive and and the the you know and the the cause of the Palestinians is just so forth and so on so so but anyway this the way this uh, attack was structured it was structured in a way to maximize uh, the feelings of hatred they were expressing hatred for the Israelis they were killing them as they were having fun uh, they were killing people who in a way would reach out were more like there were there were some left-wing peace activist kind of people at this music festival that they um, decided to create a massacre at and and I don't they may have not have known that they I don't I'm not sure what their level of intelligence was about it was well planned they knew that it was happening they targeted it, it so but it was an effort to to express destructive hatred maybe envy to you know you we don't want you know to have fun maybe coming from islamic fundamentalist you know um puritanism you could say um but anyway but it it was about rage and hatred and this is was very um uh something that people around the world uh found compelling and and in a way that erased the humanity of the concert goers on the other hand you have people who are saying you know this is terrible this is exactly this barbarity is exactly why we hate those other people over there and why we look away from i'm not saying all israelis do this but some and some and certainly the political leadership why we think collective punishment of the Gazans, or the Palestinians more generally, but Gazans in a particular way are is justified, and this is how this cycle of hatred and vengeance is stoked by exactly this format. So, I think you get the picture. I think you understand exactly why these things would stir hatred on either side. So, in other words, so it's a and and. So you have the the big attack by Hamas, and which was big for the size of Israel and the size of Hamas and so forth and so on. And now you're going to have a big attack, a bigger attack by um, Israel uh, on Gaza, and and it will breed, as many people know, more hatred. Okay, so that attack will breed more hatred. So. This sounds, you know, I think the key to a solution for not only this crisis, but the Levant, the living, the, the, the cohabitation of the Levant, of the area of Israel and Palestine by is Jews and Arab, Muslim, you know, Palestinians, um, uh, um, and other, you know, Christians and so forth and so on, basically people of any religion. Um, but those are the two largest groups. Has to be designed to minimize feelings of hatred and vengeance, okay? So how can we... And, and so there are many, it's not just a, it's not just a psychological operation in terms of like, you know, think good thoughts. Okay. That's definitely not it. There's, it has to do with military policy. It has to do with policy related to the land, to borders, to rights that people have. And so all of those things. And, and so how do we, because right now we have a, a situation that is designed to maximize hatred and vengeance and we have political groupings on both sides that are feeding off that like there was an old star trek episode which had there was this force that fed off conflict okay <laughs> so this is uh um uh gene roddenberry the the original um star trek um uh author um, and and producer and director, um, uh, you know his worst nightmare in a way in 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 that terms of that episode 
where we have a um, two groups that claim to be enemies but are cooperating in furthering this cycle, maximizing the hate and the vengeance. And so, and, and, and people are, there's justification for people on both sides to feel hatred and vengeance. I, more so on the Palestinians. The Palestinians have more rights to that, but the Israelis also have some rights to that as well. Okay, and, 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 and the choices that people make on both sides of this boundary, or not just that boundary, but also the boundary of the West Bank, um, and, and the political organization in those has a lot to do with how that has formed in the first place, but also how it can um, be minimized in the future. That's not something that, that's not, that should be the primary goal of policy, there okay so and and as i say it's not just a policy of thinking good thoughts it's some of that is there i mean but it's also um economic policy uh border policy political rights in other words legal rights so legal policy so forth and so on and it and it's some of it's going to be very contentious and there's going to be lots of conflict over lots of different things Okay, and it's um, it's going to be hard for Israelis. It's very hard. It's also going to be hard for Palestinians. But it it um, it, it will be a because the, the Israelis are the part the in the apartheid system. They're the 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 privileged group. Um, they have something more to lose. Okay, in this, but. What they have to get, they also have things to gain too. So they have to to figure out well, what did what is what am I gaining? And um, so anyway, so all of this. So even if you don't take a long term perspective and think that you can minimize, uh, you know, hate and vengeance in that in that region, you don't think you can have a just. Um, uh, division of land and resources you think it's all it's all a matter of all or nothing and you want to eliminate the other group you want to you want to eradicate them because you don't it's intolerable for you and so this is a you have this on both sides and you have this also in the international community in other words the supporters of one group or the other have el encouraged an eliminationist in fact, some of that may be stronger. Okay, there, there's just a, in a way, some of these expressions of solidarity with Palestine, without any mention of the uh, brutality of uh, and and the, the the atrocity, the crimes of Hamas, is a form of erasure of the. You could say set Jewish settlers or the the sons and daughters of Jewish settlers or wh however you want to call it, but the residents, the Jewish residents of the area, the, the citizens of Israel, um, who have suffered also. Okay, so they they have a bad, they have a a wrong, an unjust system that they live in. It's unjust. It's not. It it is. Uh, uh, you know, it's an apartheid system. But they also um, have had some suffering, and that suffering shouldn't be used as an excuse not to face the big issues. Okay, so I wouldn't, you know, if I were, anyway, I am a, someone who am in solidarity with Palestine. I'm also in solidarity with the Jewish people who live in the Levant who who want to uh, cohabitate want to to live in peace with um, their neighbors and also with um, uh, uh, Palestinians with the Palestinian people the Palestinian state or that that might emerge or you know or some binational entity uh, that would be you know whatever I mean people who they say one one state a secular one secular state so forth and so on um, we're far away from that, um, but uh, 
in any case, uh, uh, we need to be moving in that direction. And right now, this these political groupings, political military groupings, are continuing the cycle of hatred and vengeance. And so, uh, asking yourself the question: Is this does this policy stoke those things? Does this effort to recover hostages? Does this um, uh, you know effort to bring to justice criminals uh, really on both sides so so bring to just that there that that would be hard for the current uh, israeli um because they are crim they have criminals on their side too they have people who've killed innocent palestinians uh on a on a routine basis okay so and 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 certainly uh, deprive them of liberties and and put them in a situation where they have um, very few prospects. So anyway, so um, I hope this video helped give some people a perspective on a new perspective, different perspective on this, or just some new language to put on your a, a, a perspective that you have. And please share your thoughts in the comments below. Please subscribe. Please like the video if you got something out of it. Please subscribe to Politics Twenty One Hundred. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.